off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hi friends I am can you go on show them? Yeah, I'm still having to work on the hooks. She so just like, we just got her some new um she's liking to make chains and necklaces with little doodads on them, right? I still have to work on the hooks to like be able to wear it. But right. that's it. Okay. And you're going to get ankle weights from Yeah. yeah. It's just crazy. Yeah, I have to walk Take around. some socks. Cause I have to walk around. Have Dad get you some socks. Because you need to try on shoes as well. Because I have to walk around with them. Um, Kaylee's taking her to a sporting store to um, uh, get ankle weights. Her competitive cheerleading squad um, has a cheer camp starting this next week. And, uh, and for practices in the fall, they want them wearing ankle weights. <laughs> they take this very seriously. Um, but she also needs another pair of, a new pair of like tennis shoes. Um, we can't wait till she's in a size where we can get them from our store. We're finally at the point where Abby, I think, is in sizes. And, and Chelsea, I think. Abby and Chelsea are both in sizes. They just don't really care for our shoes quite yet at our shoe store. In case you're new, we own a shoe store. So, um, and I, a lot of you are, not a lot of you, there's a few people who are new here. Um, also, can I just, can I just put in a little plug? If you are a regular viewer, or you're new, either one, um, can you just subscribe? Because it's really helpful to my channel to like get the subscriber number up, because then it tells YouTube that you guys want to watch my channel. Even though you do watch it, it the numbers speak more to the algorithm than views do, if that makes sense. My battery's flashing. I wish I had somewhere to put this camera. <laughs> Yeah, try and find a little tripod but I'm just gonna really quick tell you it is post-op day the second post-op I'm gonna go see my surgeon again today Jason's gonna drive me and hopefully we get my stitches out I'll give you a little view of um, the progress so far they are just kind of hanging out they're a little low right now just because the bra that I'm wearing I have a new one on I got a three pack so this one's gray um, they're just, they're very loosey goosey, but they're compression in that they um, have the little um, clasps here in the front to kind of keep them in place. I almost wish I could wear one that was a little bit tighter because um, the bumping and, and jostling during driving kind of irritates them with movement, but um, it feels good here around the house, which is what I need to be doing more often. So post-op is what we're doing. Um, here in just a few minutes with Jason and we will find out if stitches are coming out if stereo strips are coming off if I can get the battery died <laughs> we'll give an update from the doctor's office with progress and um, how things are looking both of my drain sites are pretty much they're not healed completely but we are no longer putting um, like gauze and ointment on them and, and taping them up. I was, I think, breaking out more in rashes from the tape um, than the gauze was healing the actual wound. <laughs> so I was like, I'm done wearing the gauze. Um, so I'm actually going to ask the doctor if I can maybe put gauze, regardless of what happens with incisions and whatnot, I might ask him if I can put um, some gauze or something underneath like my bra to kind of protect that line against the incisions, regardless of whether there's actual um, stitches in or not, because I think it's just sensitive. So lots to talk to the doctor about today. We will follow up with you guys along the way. Um, I had a friend come over last night and she hung out with me here on my little couch in my room. She's like, no wonder you like this so much. It's so cute. Um, and brought us, she brought us some salsa and some homemade salsa and chips and some fruit and some cookies. And my kids were like, you have the best friends. And I do. I have great friends that really support me. Um, so 
Anywho, let's head over to my post op and find out how I'm doing. I mean, I'm feeling fine. I'm dressed and I'm, I got this new shirt from Old Navy when we went out the other day. I feel good. I just, I also want to ask the doctor if I can like wear like a, like I want to get like a tighter tank top, like almost like a sports one or a compression one or something. Cause I feel like when I go out and, and drive, which I only try and get out once a day, um, I kind of feel like I'm constantly like wanting to hold everything <laughs> and keep it held tighter. So I kind of want to ask him if that would be okay to do. So let's go find out. Forgot to mention this today is day 11 post op. Jason and I were just talking like, are we quite, we're not quite two weeks out. Um, so it feels like a long time ago. Though. I know. Um, so my friend that came over last night, she said, Dana, I think she's like, I know that you're being vulnerable. I know that like not everyone talks about this kind of stuff, but I think that like it needs to be, she's like, and I told her, I was like, when I did searches for this type of surgery on YouTube, I could only find ones that were like three years old or five years old or 10 years old. I really didn't find anyone that was maybe like one that was like a year ago, but they didn't document like their whole journey. They would just like document the days or the hours. Um, oh, today is day, you know, post-op day five. I feel great. But then that was the only part of the day that she had filmed. And so I'm like, yeah, I'm betting, <laughs> knowing now how I felt probably on day five, there was a couple hours where, yeah, I probably did feel good. But then the other part of the day, I was probably asleep and stuck in bed. And and there's more of a day-to-day, hour-to-hour type of um, reviews of this surgery on TikTok, but I just, I haven't seen them on YouTube. And I don't, I've thought about like taking it to TikTok or even just adding a few of my daily clips of recovery to TikTok. I just haven't done that yet, but I think it's important to do so here on YouTube because there aren't current day conversations about this surgery and it would be, it would have been really helpful to me. And so I don't mind being that source of someone who's really documenting the actual reality of this there surgery. There could be somebody who did document their whole thing, but they only have like 10 followers, so YouTube doesn't push Yeah, it. like, so I'm not, I'm not gonna see it. And so, um, anyway, I don't, you know, it might make some people uncomfortable, but I don't care because I needed to have conversations about this type of surgery and um, it's, I don't know. So Sometimes I'm, life is uncomfortable, so we just listen to other people's experiences. Yeah. And, or we don't, or we just say, yeah, I'll skip those yeah. conversations. Yeah. Come back for another one that I'm comfortable with. But yeah. this, it doesn't seem to be a lot of women that are curious about this or want information but don't feel like they can talk about it. Yeah. And I've even talked to some men um, in my life who have, um, not him, but men in my life who have daughters and wives. And they were uncomfortable with me talking about this type of surgery. And I was like, you have a wife and you have daughters. You need to start, not just them, but like in general, like men who have children, who have daughters, who have a wife, um, or other, you know, spouse and spouse, you know. Um, guess what? You might need to talk about that kind of a topic with them at some point in their life, whether it's them wanting to have a reduction or they need to have a mastectomy because they get breast cancer. Guess what? Uncomfortable conversations need to happen, whether you want to have them or not. I'm I don't sure know. Moms didn't want to have to talk to their sons about how to solve jock itch and fun things like that. So. <laughs> but we did it anyway. So I mean, moms, I did it. But. <laughs> well, we didn't have any boys, but <laughs> I know. I'm just saying, like, I'm trying to think of uncomfortable moments that my mom had to talk to me about. Yeah, we just have to do it. So, anyway, I'll get off my little soapbox and we'll go find out from the doctor how I'm doing. So, got my little gown on, and we're gonna find out for how I'm doing so far. All right, um, appointment is over. We went and got um, me some a little bit of Wendy's. I did not eat a whole meal. Um, it just doesn't sound like enough. But I got myself a little beverage. Of course. Of course. Even Kaylee got me a beverage. She took Ashley to try and look for the shoes. She's like, I got you a Coke. I put it in the fridge. Very sweet of her. Um, so my appointment went really well. The doctor is um, very optimistic 
of the recovery so far, he likes that I'm still being cautious and little hands and arms to my side. I have to continue that for a few more weeks. I have to be really cautious. Um, but there was, so they took all the sutures off. So I guess there's no actual like, um, what do you call them? Uh, stitches. stitches on the outside. They're all internal stitches. So there's no stitches to come out, which I guess I just didn't understand because I couldn't ever see them. The stereo strips were on. Um, but, it's, you know, he, so they took all the stereo strips off. It felt so good. She's like, I'm sorry if that hurts. I'm like, no, it's very satisfying to have them taken off because I think that's where my, like, the pull was coming from was from the stereo strips themselves. Um, it already feels better in the car to not have them on. But as we were kind of doing the exam and the doctor's looking and his assistant was looking at it and there's some, there's some redness and there's some, um, still, um, needing to heal, um, skin around, around, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so they were kind of looking at that and they were like, Hey, be mindful of that. If you want to be more cautious with it, you could put some ointment on it, put a little gauze on it, um, and then put your bra, whatever, whatnot. And then as we were kind of waiting, um, I think the assistant had to go out and get something and she came back in and I, the line down from the nipple, um, had stitch. split open, had, the stitch had opened. Um, and she's like, that's okay. The doctor saw that. Um, but she's like, yeah, as soon as you stood up that, that little suture line opened up and she's like, it will heal. It's fine. Um, I wouldn't mind taking a little thing and putting it back together. I know. He's, we're concerned about it than the doctor and the nurse were um, but they just put some antibiotic antibiotic ointment on it and then uh, a piece of gauze over it and then just one strip of tape and she said I need you to change that twice a day but you can shower without that on it and you know just let the soap kind of wash over your body do not touch everything just let the, the soap kind of do its own cleaning with it and I said it'll heal up but it is a little sensitive right now. So, oh, we're stuck in traffic. So, I just have to be a little bit cautious with that area, but that's the only thing that is covered up at this point. Everything is out in the open, um, and they have said that I um, have decreased in size since surgery, because now the swelling is going down. I am in like two different sizes. Um, not sizes, actual sizes, but there's just a little bit more swelling in one versus the other. Um, so the shape is a little bit different right now. <laughs> um, one is more flat and one is more perky. And he's like, that will change. You have to just, this is a long process of recovery. And we'll look at it again. I think I go back in a month and we're gonna look at it again and make sure everything is working good. And then I go back three months after, you know, post-op um, to make sure that there's no little he likes to do like small improvements um, to make sure it looks really, really good. Yeah. There's little folds that can kind of come up in the crease marks um, that can be perfected is what he said um, that he can do in the office. So everything went great and I feel good about everything. Um, even though I showered last night, it almost will feel good to go ahead and shower tonight again. <laughs> I showered last night, did I say tonight? Anyway, I forget. There's a car coming over here. Um, I'm going to put the phone camera down because we're kind of in the middle of Seattle traffic now. I'm kind of going a different way home. thought it would help, but it's not. Um, I feel good about everything. He said I could actually order another set of these same bras in a smaller size. He said don't go two sizes small because I don't want them compressed. Like no sports bras, nothing. Just wear these ones. But he's like, you are a size smaller than even the one you ordered a week ago, which is insane to me because I've never been. I mean, so I don't even. How we know to like not order too many? Yeah, but I'm gonna wear these ones at night because I still can't go nilly nilly. I can't like not wear a bra. I have to wear so one at night. Bit? Free Willy. I can't. What? What did you say? Well, I call it free ball in it, but I guess you call it free boob in it. Whatever. You I can't go without wearing one, but it'll be nicer at night to have one that's a little bit looser and then during the day when I'm wanting to kind of protect them more to wear the smaller one. 
and I asked him also if I could wear like not like a sports tank top um, but even just like an under tank top that kind of just holds me in just a little bit like when I'm driving around in the car even like not driving driving it'll just kind of hold me in a little better and he was like yes I just don't want it to be a compression one I don't want it to be a workout one I don't want it to Squish the tissue. Squish the tissue. I just want it, if you want a little bit more comfort, I can see that you're just constantly wanting to hold him. I said, yes, I just want something to kind of hug me a little bit more. Um, I'm technically not free to drive um, consistently for about another week, but he said, I understand you have a life and you have kids. Go a little bit. Go a little and he's bit. like, if you have to take your daughter to work before she gets her driver's license, and I was like, yep, she only works a mile away from her house. And he says, that's fine, just go cautious. There's a cool shot of Oh yeah, we'll show you. So I, I'm okay to do that, go but I'm not gonna go on a road trip. That's fine. It doesn't really like show up on We'll go over this bridge. Camera. We'll go over the bridge. We'll go okay, we just got home. I'm gonna go and rest, but one, Jason has some laundry cut out for him. There's tons on the floor. But he's doing his duty. I can't wash my car for another couple, probably a couple weeks. So he's washing it for me. Thank you. Does it feel look like it's still soapy coming out? Yeah. I put a bunch of stuff on it, but it dries too fast. Well, you only do half the car. I know, but I have to do this, and then it dries, but then it still has soap in it, so I can No, I only do enough soap to do half the car. Yeah, well. So, sorry I can't help. Ashley's not home? Do you want me to go get her and have her come down? Yeah. I thought you would have let her know. All right, I've been home for a couple hours, took a little nap right there. Just started um, the last season of Jack Ryan, and realized it was 7.30. And I probably need to eat dinner. I haven't eaten well today. Um, I'm tender tonight, um, so I'm just gonna take it easy. Um, I think I'm gonna wait and shower tomorrow and have one of my girls help me straighten my hair for church on Sunday. Today's Friday. So I kinda wanna conserve my energy tonight, rest. And I have a fun video that I'm going to do. I just don't know when I can post it because I have a sponsored product that I just received. I'll show you. So I can't really show you the name of the product, but it is in this box right here. So I'm very excited to do a little sponsored video soon. You shall see. But I also have some Tesla accessories that I got. Um, hint, that product might be related to my new car. Um, and I have some new accessories and I want to put them in my car, but I got them like the day before my surgery. And so I haven't, I have wanted to put them in the car myself and I'm kind of stubborn. And so they've just been sitting down here underneath, um, the counter. No, they're underneath my desk. Um, waiting for me to feel good enough to get back out to my car. And now that he's cleaned my car and I might film all of that, show you all my little accessories. Um, on Sunday when I look nice and I have my a new dress that I just got I'm gonna feel very pretty after this surgery even though I'm still really sore and and whatnot um, so stay tuned for that just FYI stay tuned for that just might not be in schedule with like day to day because I have to get it approved it's my first one my first video that I get to make that I actually have to send off to get approval on which is kind of cool so stay tuned for that. I know you guys are gonna be excited for me to like kind of get that status of, you know, it's just like a status of YouTube that you achieve for, or at least some achieve for it, you know? It makes it kind of fun because I don't accept products. My inbox is filled in my Instagram with like dinky jewelry, I don't wear jewelry, and, and like stupid products that I'm not gonna get free and and give a shout out about because I don't use them I don't believe in them or whatever but this one I actually found the company you'll see yeah I'm giving away too much information 
So I am, just hold on and you'll see that video soon. But um, I am making myself a lot of vegetables um, for dinner. There is chicken in there. It's the garlic chicken pasta from Costco, minus the pasta, because that's what Abby eats. I'm gonna make that for dinner and I'm gonna call it a night because I need to rest. Um, it, my arms. <laughs> it's only been 11 days since I haven't like, you know, used my arms at full capacity before, like before surgery. And my arms get tired after like 30 seconds of holding this stupid camera up. Um, so that'll be nice to like recover from. Um, but I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys and thank you for joining me on this journey. Um, I'm thinking at the, like the two week mark, I'm gonna do like an overall view of the entire process and kind of close out this recovery playlist, if you will, here on my channel. And then just kind of give you little tidbits of information along the way as I slowly recover beyond that. So thank you for joining me in this little um, surgery and recovery and, you know, making myself feel better about myself, which I do. And my doctor was very pleased with how I look and how the surgery went and how I'm recovering because I am taking care of myself. So take care and we'll see you guys next time.